Hi grade fives, welcome to another recorded math lesson. Today's title is Role and Color of Fraction. Our learning intentions and success criteria are, I am learning to develop number sense so that I can demonstrate an understanding of fractions. I'll know I have it when I can participate in a game to identify fractions. So on your Google Classroom, if you go into um, the attachment, it will look something like this. And there's two ways that you can do this, and the directions are right on the top. It says you can roll a die, a six-sided die, and color that a fraction in that column. And then you're supposed to continue playing until they're all colored in. Or you can even play with a partner to see who can get five in a row. So I'm going to play with my husband, Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Hello. Hopefully you could hear that. He's very quiet. And... Uh, we are going to play this game Rolling Color of Fraction together. So we're going to take turns rolling our six-sided die. And um, when we roll a die, we're going to look for the column that matches that die. So let's say I rolled a six. So I would have to um, roll a fraction that's in this column right here. Let me just make this a little bit thicker. And I'm going to erase that because you don't need that. Um, hopefully you all have a six-sided dice at home. If you don't, um, you can go into um, Google and just search for six-sided die. And then this will come up and then you can roll the die like that. So I rolled a four. So I'm going to go back to my sheet. And here is four right here. You can't really see it because it's underneath my little... Um, coloring palette, but I'm going to color a fraction that's in this um, column. So I'm going to color in three fifths, and that's right here, and I'm going to color in three of them, three out of the five pieces. So I've now just identified my fraction, three fifths, excuse the uh, horrible coloring skills that I have. Color it in like that. Okay, and now it's Kyle's turn. So Kyle is going to roll the die. Okay, and Kyle also got a four. So he's going to color something in the same column and he's gonna be blue. Um, he wants to color in, okay, he's coloring in one third. Okay. I kind of messed that up for me a little bit because I'm trying to get five in a row and so I can't get five in that row anymore. Okay, so back to my turn. I will roll my die. Oh, look at that. I got four again. That's unfortunate. So I'm going to color in one. Oh, that's blue. I'm purple. I'm going to color in one fourth. So one out of those four pieces is what I'm going to color in. Okay, Carl, go ahead. Okay, so he rolled and he got a three. What's he going to pick? Uh, two six. Very smart because he picked two that were really close together. So now hopefully he can get five in a row. Okay, my turn. So you can see how if you have an actual die in real life, it's probably a lot easier because then you don't have to go back and forth. Um, I got a five. So that's that column there. I'm going to go for five sixths here. Okay, and basically you're just going to keep on playing until you color in five in a row. And if you're not playing with another person, which is totally fine too, it's going to take a really long time to color in all the fractions that you've colored, or to color in all the fractions on the worksheet, sorry. So you probably just want to do five in a row if you're playing by yourself as well. Okay. Um, 
this assignment is not due on Google Classroom because it's just kind of a game for you guys to get to know fractions a little bit better. Um, but please do call me on Zoom if you have any questions and I will talk to you tomorrow.